It seemed easy enough, a 17-mile, 27-kilometer canoe trip through the Atlantic Ocean. But in Florida waters, summer adventures are often anything but routine.
know you love her when you let her go Only know you've been high when you're feeling low Only hate the road when you're missing home Only know you love her when you let her go Well, you only need the light pile of trash was what we found on an eight and a half mile canoe trip out in the Atlantic Ocean. We were not searching for trash, this was the trash that was floating that came near our canoe that we could grab. Fourteen, including two buckets. Picked it up, put it in the canoe, brought it with us, and just so much plastic out there and can't even imagine all the plastic underwater that didn't float to the surface. And styrofoam. Got a lot of styrofoam too. In this video you've seen a slice of paradise. One of the last pristine reefs left on the planet. But even this reef has lost over 70% of its coral coverage over the last 30 years according to Moat Summerland. We as humans have a massive effect on these ecosystems. Even recently, research has pointed to our sunscreens and suntan lotions, leading to increased coral deaths. Sunscreens containing any of these ingredients, oxybenzoate, oxybenzone, and octinoxate, will kill corals and damage coral reefs. So what can you do? For starters, you can pick up trash you see in the area, educate others about it, and about reef safe sunscreens. I use Monda sunscreens because they're reef safe, stay on all day and with water, and use little to no plastic. Additionally, you can volunteer with Moat and with other coral restoration organizations. And if you scuba dive, you can partner with Project Aware, like I have, and log the dives where you collect trash. There are links for both in the description. If you want to put in even more effort toward affecting additional long-lasting and profound change, in the description are more actions you can undertake and some organizations you can team up with. Whoa!